Hello everyone. So we, today we are going to do a tiny improvement to our attack. So like this. At the end of the attack, character holds the weapon a little bit like this. So we will have a room to press the next uh, attack input uh, if we want to do a continuous combo. And also uh, by keeping the character in the at the end of the attack uh at the end state of the attack it makes the attack looks a bit more powerful like this so uh, i don't have that in the animation itself it's not embedded into the animation itself i'm going to implement it through the by firing a, uh, by triggering an event and then I'm going to handle it through the code. So here is the demonstration. It happens for enemies as well, not just for the player. Okay, so let's see how to do that today. Before we get started, you can watch all previous episodes in this full playlist. And also you can download the project files from my Patreon page. I'll leave links to everything in the description. And let's get back to tutorial. All right, so first uh, to implement slowdown effect, here let's go to abilities and the sword and where's the attack attack sword ability right now here just like this attack landed i want to have a notifier triggered using this an event triggered through a notifier so that should happen here on from the attacks so the attacks are there this we have the attacks for the sword let me start with this one and here at this point i'll add the notifier add notifier trigger event and the event should be uh, we have notifier attack landed here I'll add another sub tag notifier slow down attack and mark it right now then after that here I can have another game play event just like the one before and here let's wait for notifier slow down and then I don't think now we should disconnect this anymore from here so when we receive the event now this is where i need to ma make the slowdown effect so uh, to implement that uh wait let me first add this trigger to all the attack montages here slow down so this one Okay, 
so now I think instead of implementing the slowdown here it might be better to implement that in the character as an event so it would be better if I implement it through an interface so let's see what are the interfaces we have here we have the VPI character interface mm -hmm. Be here add a function slow it down I'll add it under the character here I'll add the duration uh, slow down amount or rate let's just say and the duration as for default values mm -hmm. Something like 0.2 and duration maybe 0.4 seconds. We don't want it to make too much. All right, let's uh, implement it here. The event slow down. So, what we need to do is get the mesh set anim scale. No, this one. Global anim rate scale. Set global anim rate scale to whatever the rate we get. And for the duration, let's have a delay. And then let's reset this back to one. And I'll call this event from here. Get character. I already have a reference to the character. Slow down. And here I'll call this to end the ability. All right. Now to easily test this, let me open my character blueprint and set the default weapons to sword and shield. That's it. Here now I see. Oh, I didn't see. Oh wait, I didn't see for the for one of the animations. I think this one. So it's fine. Ah, this one. This didn't fire. I think that's because this. Here, if I change this two seconds the length is 1.5 okay so I have to reduce blend out time to make sure this event there is room to fire this event so maybe let's make this 0.5 Yeah. Now we have more space to press the second attack here. And we can clearly see the attack characters pause after doing the attack. Earlier, if we didn't really feel the energy of the attack without the slowdown. Do I have the slowdown effect for this tab? No, it's not here. Uh, let me copy. 
copy that okay now we should have it let's check So yeah, it's a tiny, very small thing, but that is something I want to try. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let's continue to improve our systems that we have implemented so far in upcoming episodes as well. Feel free to comment and let me know what you guys think and I will address all your concerns in upcoming episodes. So see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.